On the other side of things, when we're talking about meal timing and MMC, um, so we do want to eat, you know, consistently and space things out a little bit, but we also don't want to go too long without eating. So um, ideally, you know, physiologically, we know that our bodies work best when they get food or fuel about every three to five hours um, throughout the day. Uh, three to four hours is usually a sweet spot for most people. If we're going five plus hours without eating something, um, what happens is blood sugar crashes, which you know, sends off the alarms in your body and your body starts to send out stress hormones like cortisol and epinephrine. And when we have more stress hormones in the body, digestion starts to um, get put lower down on the totem pole in terms of priorities in your body. So we have more stress hormones and digestion is suppressed. So that's why you may notice if you go a really long period of time without eating, you're going five, six, seven hours for whatever reason, and then you have a meal, no matter what you eat, you might feel pretty crappy after. Um, and that's often related to the fact that we went too long, we let blood sugar crash, stress hormones are high, and now digestion is impaired. So, you know, what I would encourage you to do is play around with sort of finding your sweet spot um, and kind of playing around with eating about every three to four hours throughout the day. Um, so we can leave space for that MMC, but we're also supporting stable blood sugar, supporting rhythmic digestion. 